Rolling on to the speedway now, it's going to be heat one of our Pinty's 358 modified, vision, modified division. On the pole, that's number 88. That's the penetrator, Shane Pearson, his outside. That's number 28 of Todd Gordon. Inside, row number two, that's the number three, CB3, Chad Brockman, and his outside, that's a zero eight of Mark Delario. Inside of the third row, that's your point leader, number 42, Mr. Smallblock, Peter Bicknell, and his outside is number 62 of Eric Rudolph. Inside, row number four, that's a 37S, that's Tommy Flanagan, winner your last time out here, and to his outside, that's number 28Z of Gary Lindbergh, second in points. White flag is out now over the field here of this first heat race of the modified division. As P Pearson Gordon weave them side by side, just get ready here for the start of this one. So that front row going to fire together. We have no leader on the initial start, so they will fire together at the orange cone, exiting turn number four. The tower looking for a nice, clean start, and they will get it from that front row. Todd Gordon is the... First one to the line, slips out front. Delario, though, little squirrely through turn number one. Hangs on to it, though. Chad Brockman now trying to steal third away from Mark Delario as we take it through turn number four. Still the 28 of Todd Gordon, your leader, over Shane Pierce sitting in second. Chad Brockman in third. Mark Delario in fourth. Pete Picknell rounding out your top five as we've got a little bit of contact at the rear of the field between the Tommy Flanagan car and the 28 of Gary Lindbergh. Everybody able to stay on the straight and narrow. Lots of bite here for these modifiers tonight. Definitely see some fast lap times here tonight as Gordon leads Pierce over Brockman and Delario and Bicknell round out the top five now as they still race single file through the field into turn number four. Out of com coming out of four now to complete lap number three. Still Todd Gordon, your leader. Shane Pierce sitting in second, but Chad Brockman quickly reeling in the 88 machine as they take it down the backstretch. Chad Brockman now looking to the inside of Pierce Pierce. Really throwing it through turn number four, almost seeing the side of that 88 machine coming out of turn number four. As he holds on to second for another lap, Chad Brockman going to have to sit in third. Brockman now to the inside of Pierce. He's able to complete the pass out of turn four for the second spot as they race into turn one. Flanagan now to the inside of Lindbergh for the rounding out the final spot here tonight. Didn't work as they back to single file now around the field. Two to go now from starter Steve DeVos as Gordon still doing a good job in this one in the middle of the speedway. He's running some good laps. Brackman trying to catch him. Hasn't been able to do it yet as Bicknell starting to work on the 88 of Pierce now for the third spot. Yeah, Travis, you were talking about fast lap times right now. Chad Brockman laying down the fastest with a 15-6. We've got both Shane Pierce and Pete Bicknell with 15 nines as we come through turn number four, but not before we see the yellow flag displayed for the 37S of Tommy Flanagan. He gets rolling from the high side of turn number one. Followed by the three of Brockman. It's going to be a green and white displayed uh, at the same time as we come down to complete this heat race now with one to go. Gordon takes a slow pace into turn three. RPMs come up now. He pitches that thing, and she comes out of turn four nice and hard as he gets a good jump on the three of Brockman now into turn number one. One lap dash for the checkers. Brockman gets a good run into turn two, starting to gain a little bit on Gordon down the back stretch now, but Gordon drives her in hard into turn three. He hits his marks coming out of turn four. It's going to be a race down to the flag, and it's going to be 28, Todd Gordon, followed by three of Brockman, 88 of Pierce, 42, Bicknell, 08, Delario, 62, Rudolph and Lindbergh flying through the moat to finish that one. That was pretty exciting. 